Just kidding. It's not really the uh, Christmas poo. So anyways, hey, welcome everybody to the Ride Along with Ronald 47 r That's right. It is for the Sentinel AC-14. So, yeah, um, you saw the little sneak peek there. I said it's okay, but you decide. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's polka tanks. I got to collect them all. Um, YouTube channel, you know how that rolls. But um, I could live without it. I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, I, I need to spend more time invested in it to, you know, air quote, check it out and make sure that it, it, it's it's a good tank or what it can be done with it. There's people that can play it way better than me. Bless them. Um, you can tell by, you know, the different classes that you earn and whatnot. And of course, yeah, the old thing that uh, I was taught was there's always somebody better than you. But with that said, it just did not speak to me, you know, um, too directly. Um, it has potential. It's okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to tell you that on the front end. But again, this is not a review or anything like that. This is just a look kind of a quick down and dirty or maybe not so quick. Where I'm just kind of walking you through, um, you know, you saw that I went ahead and, and, and bought this here, uh, the Tier 6 Central AC4, which is a British premium tank at Tier 6, medium. Um, it's under the British flag. It is, uh, the story goes, of course, it is an Australian tank, and it's a prototype that never saw service. It is also known as the Wiener tank uh, due to the machine gun port in the front. Looks like... Uh, a penile so there it is it's uh or you can go ahead and get a racket out and say penis anyone but uh whatever whatever floats your boat uh 17 pounder gun um but like i said i mean it's a cool gun but just this tank it just kind of was a little challenging for me to kind of uh go up against tier eights i don't know uh, it, it's it's there's not a one-to-one -one correspondence but i mean is there a reason i mean maybe there's a reason why this thing never went into production i don't know uh, kind of interesting fun fact, as you see me uh, mess around with this bad boy, the emblem does not replace the uh, the Australian flag. You can see that it's more on the hull, which is highly unusual for a uh, British tank because, of course, it's usually on the turret. So on the left side of the tank, it's on the hull. On the right side of the tank, it's on the turret. And there you go. Um, one of the nice things about some of the tanks that are coming out uh, that are premium, um, is that the camouflage is already built in. So you figure you've got four, uh, and I said this in the past, I mean, you know, the pros, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, the, the, the con, of course, is that you cannot customize it uh, independently, but you're saving, you know, the cost of uh, camouflage, uh, whatever, you know, you choose to use, silver or permanent for gold. Uh, you're saving it in four areas. So take that cost, multiply it by four, and, and that's your savings. Meanwhile, um, and again, just for record keeping purposes, you can see here that, uh, you know, the fire, firepower and survivability and so forth, you can kind of get an idea of where the modules are located and you can pause at any time. And as usual, of course, you can always jump ahead, uh, to the game pay game, <laughs> gameplay if you want to just uh, see it in action. Um, but you know, um, it's a lot, uh, slower than I thought it would be. Now, now the max speed says 60 kilometers per hour. But it was weird when I would when I would drive the tank. I felt like it was sluggy, sluggish, slow. I don't know. Maybe it was in my head. Maybe I was uh, having a challenging day. Who knows? You can see the armor there. Really not impressive. Really not impressive. Um, you know, here's something to kind of think about. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it's not really a direct comparison. It's not apples to apples. But I mean, you know, you have the tog. You know, and it has it has premium matchmaking. Um, th then you have this, and it does not have premium matchmaking. And I just didn't see how this guy can go up against eights. I'm not saying he can't. I'm just saying consistently, consistently, I I just don't see him as a contender. Um, I mean, really, the way you're gonna play this tank, and and again, just just take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. What do I know? <laughs> but with that said, um, this is a TD. It's, it's a TD. It is a, um, you really need to, 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 to take it a couple of notches down and, um, you know, do what you can while other folks are engaged, uh, with the enemy and, and really be opportunistic. Um, I, you, you're just not going to brawl on this thing. And I do not want to be a primary target for the enemy. Cause you're not really going to be bouncing anything, uh, just for kicks throw, showing you, you know, what I have for a layout. Uh, loadout, layout, whatever, uh, GLD, gun rammer, and uh, 
vents. I, I may come back to this, to be honest, um, second time around and get rid of uh, either the GLD or the rammer. I'll have to take a look. I want to say it's going to be getting rid of the GLD and throwing on Binox and really just trying to take it one step further back into the background. And here we are in a tier 8 match uh, on Overlord. Um, oh, <laughs> look at that. In this game, it looks like I've already taken out the GLD and inserted the Binox. So, there you go. Alright, now that I've muted a sneeze, you're welcome for the TMI. The, uh, you know, the tank, I'm just going to tell you ahead of time, the tank, I don't really have anything super fancy to show you, but what I do have to show you is I played my little heart out. Um, the first the first game is decent. The second game was I played my little heart out times two. And it, I think it is a great um, representation of what this tank, what you can expect from this tank. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a little guy here that, uh, that could. A little guy who wished he could. And then you have the little interesting to note um, if you saw it in the uh, the armor section when we we're looking at the uh, the inspection of armor uh, in the rear you see that little tread piece that's actually an enhanced that region is a stronger armor piece in the back so it does not serve as simply a cosmetic mark that actual rectangle of tread is uh, extra armor um, so there you go fun fact for you you know you're gonna be at a party and they're gonna ask you about the sentinel AC4, um, and now you can impress your friends. So there you go. Uh, you can see here with our with our team, um, this is a this tank does not carry the uh, the game. Um, there are some tanks uh, if you're top tier, or even if you're not top tier, uh, with a little bit of luck, etc. Uh, there are some tanks that I can confidently say that I can carry a game. I can really really influence the outcome. Now with this particular tank, I don't care if you're top tier this does not carry games unless and again come on guys let's take out the the games where the enemy is totally inept okay those are that doesn't even count um you know if somebody has a clue and they're on the other team this tank is going to get penned period done and and here i am moving the numbers say i'm moving pretty fast but it just didn't it just for some reason just doesn't feel that way i did move in my uh my my crew uh from the the original crew from the snake bite um put them in there to to grind them up a little bit they only have a couple of skills nothing to brag about but nothing really fancy is coming out of here um you know just kind of being opportunistic there there's a t34 out there if you get some good angles uh know where to shoot uh you can do decently um i just can't say consistently well against the uh, the enemy um, the accuracy, it's, it's just doesn't have that TD-ness to it, uh, although you need to play it like a TD. It, it reminds me of kind of like the Firefly, you know? Um, I mean, it does have a similar gun, if not the same gun, so there you go. And I do play my TOG, uh, my joke is, is that it is a TD, and the funny thing is, is I do really do play the, uh, the TOG as a TD, and it also has the same type of gun and I do say the same type of gun because honestly I did not take out every 17 pounder gun that I can find and do a side-by-side -side comparison um, but for all intents and purposes you know it is uh, let's just say it's the same so here we have the t29 he's kind of being bashful to go down there uh, silly me I'm a tier 6 uh, you know and there's a tier uh, 8 uh, type 59 known for having good armor um, so that's not that's why I'm not running down there right quick also too when he spots you up his friends in the background have a chance to hit you, and we do have a handful of guys that are still left. So that is why I'm not rushing down there as well. Also, I'm using this bunker here for defense, because there is that TD to my right that is out there and a viable enemy. So here I am battling the greens. I've got this uh, this light tank for whatever reason. He keeps uh, hanging out in this area. Artie finally does take out that Type 59, allowing me to not be spotted and move forward and try to get into the game. By now we've messed around so much though. Um, all I did was a cha-cha back and forth. Only have five pens, one kill. I mean, it is really, really nothing to write home about, but at least I'm alive and that is always a good time. Um, should not have rushed that. Again, pen, 
you know, you, you gotta place your shots. I'm a tier 6, uh, you know, working on this. T34, for goodness sakes, it's a tier 8. For goodness sakes, you, you, aim your shots, because if you just auto-lock, you're probably gonna bounce. Especially, look at this, I'm almost out of 45, just to round it up. Hit him in the engine bay, good times. Was able to get the reload and the next kill there. And you can see there, yeah, I'm working with, the, what, about a 4.35 reload. So, you know, it's decent. But really, just don't be visible. Get out of there. Um, walking away with 47,000 in silver. It's a third class. Um, I, I know that if I were to actually put some more time into this tank, I'm sure I can do a lot better. Because um, I'm halfway decent. But, uh, you know, it just, it just didn't... I felt like work, you know? I just wanted to share those videos with you, and it just was not getting me hot and bothered and excited about it. So, don't know what to tell you. Now, I jump into this other game. You know, here on, on Hailbron, and uh, this is a really interesting map. Um, I'll just leave it at that. It's an interesting map. It's very whack-a-mole. Um, I'm top tier, so I've. So what you're saying is you, I've got a chance. You know, I, this this map here, the way I'm thinking about it is, and I'm still going to kind of play kind of TD-ish, but at least I have some cover to kind of to kind of relay from point A to point B. I'm top tier. Um, there's a possibility that I can actually get my name on the board and it's worth sharing with you. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to this location here. You can see that uh, that little grassy knoll there. That's where the, uh, the secret gunman was there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and poke out on one side or the other. I do have a light tank. The good old 38 NA that uh, is doing his job to scout and try to spot some things. Gotta be careful though, uh, just a little note on this map. If you go to the right, you are you, you can, if you're lit, you can be line of sight shot from the sniper positions uh, to the right of my position. Meanwhile, I am not spotted, and there you go, launching the old uh, shell at the KV-85. Pretty decent angle I've got on this guy as he's broadside. Don't know if he was tracked or whatnot. Finally, he gets smashed. Eh, Hail Mary shot. I mean, there's just a sliver of looks. And then there you go. Uh, there's the Panzer 5-4. And I believe this was one of the tanks that was on sale that everybody and their brother was buying. Um, WG, please keep rare, rare. But okay, moving on to this. Because I know it's not supposed to be a political statement in this uh, video. He's moving up to the front. Now, I've already plugged this guy, I want to say twice. And let's go ahead and make that a third time. <laughs> For about 169, so you kind of get an idea of the uh, the value hits there. 156, finally got uh, spotted. Took a little too long to get out of there. Took a hit from his overwatch over the shoulder. That guy played that tank terribly. Nice hit there to that guy. I don't know what he was doing. And boom, better to you than me. I will contact your parents for you. Now, I'm being spotted right here. I have no clue how I got spotted by that. Unless it was Artie that was looking at me. I don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. And there you go, trying to be sly. And there's a good chunk of looks staring at me. And I missed because it's almost 500 meters away. Ooh, 143, taking him practically half down. Now, why he's still sitting there? I have no idea why he's still sitting there. Low roll, terrible. And yes, um, kind of gambling. Stayed there a little longer than I should have. But in this case, I was lucky enough to actually have it work out for me. I uh, took a blind shot in that region because I know that's where he is. And I'm also timing the rhythm of the artillery. And so far, I've only been hit once. Pretty, pretty lucky there. Now, numerically, our team is doing, mm, I'll say well. I'll say well. Um, but I've seen games like this before where the winning team throws it away. And that is an annoying little dog that is barking that I have no control over. Um, so maybe I can find a Vietnamese family that's uh, good at cooking. But meanwhile, over here, there are some uh, some reds to the right, and I really can't get out there to uh, to do anything. I cannot expose myself long enough for my binoculars to kick in, and even then, this thing is uh, 300 and change for the view range. Nothing braggable. Um, other people can, can stop me. T3485 is taking this like a champ, and the keister finally makes it to cover, and I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, eh, is it worth the gamble? Do I run out there? Do I try to brawl with this guy? It's stupid. You should not do that. 
But I'm just being honest. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, meanwhile, artillery, as you can see, is still trying to launch it at me. We've got one, approximately A5, and then another one, eh, I'll call it A9, based on the angles of the incoming fire. And I did take a disgusting hit and another terrible hit. That makes me unhappy. So upset, I may poop my pants in protest. But I'll go ahead and hold off, as challenging as that is, because I want to go ahead and save the uh, 240 plus points of health uh, left in my tank. Because I don't want to go out like a sucker. I got 11 pens, 2 uh, kills. It's top tier. <laughs> I don't want to throw this away. So here we are. This guy keeps going back and forth uh, over there, getting some lucky spots. I don't know if it's my TD. Someone's spotting him up. I'm okay with it. Boom, got a 149 off this guy, but you know, he's like, man, if I'm going to fight him, he's still like three shots, and every time he comes out, I run the risk of being spotted, you got two arties, it's a tough decision, now who the hell is shooting at me, I did not know what that was all about, and there you go, see that red that just popped up at K4, that's who was shooting at me, and there it is, it's the Panzer 5-4, who is broadside, and why he decided to just forget about me, I don't know, but you're welcome. I'll take it. Missed a shot that I should have made. Terrible. And now he's behind the hill there. Not good. So a couple choices. Um, now we're at 8 to 11. You can see we were doing well. Now what the hey is going on with this team? Um, well, Ronan, you should have pushed on forward. Maybe. Whatever. Whatever. So somebody is trying to cap, and we have a lot of baddies, and I'm not going for the flag. I'm going for this T-3485 because I'm emotionally invested, and my feelings are hurt that uh, he wants to kill me. So I have to kill him first, and I did get one into him on the run. Don't count on that happening a lot. He's possibly one shot, but, 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 there it is. He, we did get a decent enough roll to go ahead and take him out. We got that HMC. Luckily, I'm behind this hill. It's tough for him to get it up and over with this angle. We still have two and a half minutes left. What is Ronan going to do here? It's 10 to 11. Our guys are pulling it back a little bit. Ooh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Boom. Oh, terrible. I'm spotted. I've got two, t uh, two arties. Luckily, one of the arties misses, and then I take him out. I'm still spotted. I could be killed at any moment. Ooh, now we've evened it up. It is 12-12. I mean, this is... Uh, I'm not going to lie, at least it's it's interesting. There you go. Another artillery shot. Inbound misses me. And we have one medium TD and an arty. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I, it's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. You never know. You just get spotted up. If you're moving slow, you're, you're busy focused in, the arty can really smash you. Um, if it's a closed-in fighting game, the artillery is not an advantage. You just don't know. You got this medium over there in the back. I don't know what he's doing. Um, our only hope really is to isolate these guys and move in in force and uh, really just kind of gang up on them. But, you know, it's a bunch of randoms. We're all doing our own thing. Good luck with that. I do have four kills now, 16 pens, and it looks like the Boilermaker, the, uh, the living medium, has now destroyed our VK, which was our medium. And we're left with, I want to say, a T1 heavy? I honestly don't remember. So it's either an M6 or a T1 Heavy uh, on our team. And now it's back to uh, them winning at 2-3 to three, or 12-13, to 13, depending on how you look at it. Now I know up in this region, I'm thinking the arty is over here somewhere. I, I'm trying to stay safe from the inbound uh, Boilermaker, which, you know, clobbered our medium. That heavy, I don't know what he's doing. I, whatever. Good luck with that. So pretty much I'm on my own. He's not going to be spotting any inbound baddies from the south. And he's definitely not out spotting the arty uh, to the uh, to the east. So I'm doing my thing. Here we go. So now we've dis discovered, okay, there's two dudes. Now he was involved with um, looking at our heavy tank. And his angle is such that I'm just not pending him. Ow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Looks like the arty really uh, ruined my day there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save that repair kit. We know the Arty's in this direction. We also know that the quick-firing British Tank Destroyer, who's a theoretical one-hit, ow, um, he's over there. I don't know. It's scary times. So there you go. The T1 Heavy snags that artillery kill, which would have been a fifth kill for me. 
Boilermaker inbound, this is tough. Now I feel kind of vulnerable where if I stay here, the Boilermaker can see me and I have zero cover. Meanwhile, I can only assume the TD is moving in position. Took this gamble to come around and it did not pay off. So that super sucked. But I played my heart out, 18 pens. I don't even know if there's any fires, but at least there's 18 pens there. Four kills, I think. Survey Sus. Yeah, four kills, 18 pens. I tried. <laughs> I tried really hard. And my gamble did not pay off, but um, finally concluded and finished up the, uh, the ace uh, op. And there it is. So, you know, it's a decent tank. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can share some stories, and I want you to do so in the uh, comments below. What you think of the tank, how you've played against it, did you get it, how, what do you think of it? I'm sure I can do a lot better. So jumping over to a reminder that we are grinding our channel, trying to get that PC tower to replace this uh, blue screen. I'm not lying, just a few minutes ago, it actually had to restart before I started recording and I started over. And um, also you can throw in a buck for luck here on the GoFundMe. So there's two locations, PayPal and GoFundMe. And uh, everything is appreciated. So thank you much for that. And uh, in short, guys, let me know what you think about this tank. I appreciate you hanging out. Um, it's okay. You know, it's fun. It's fun for a minute. Um, it's not my first tank that I would go to, but I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not going to say avoid it, but uh, eh, it has a wiener on the front, so maybe that's a value. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you later. Girls, you said you had something you wanted to ask them? Do you guys like our channel? Then please donate and keep our channel running. Well, that was a nice thought, girls, but you know what comes next. If you are receiving this transmission, you are one of the 47 Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.